Luger. Let's do this. Time to murder. Mine plant, berserk. All right, this shouldn't be very hard. They're weak to uh, fire and wind, and I just got a new wind move on Gaius. What did I set it to again? Up, okay. Up with L. This is the threat Nova mentioned. Let's wrap this up quickly, everyone. Yeah. Nice. Swallow Fury is pretty cool. This is a job for two. Not yet. Not bad. Uh, what did I set that other move to? Oh no, that's the wrong one. It's up. Okay. Oh wait, do something. Water Link Pillar, go! Demonic Shockwave, and then another Water Link Pillar for the heck of it. Go! Demonic Shockwave! And a Water Link Pillar to wrap this one up. Alright, let's kill you next. Okay, so what do I have it set to? Up. Oh, I don't have enough... What you call it? Enough TP. It must take a lot. Obliteration Cross. Oh, that was cool too. Guys is ridiculously cool with his attacks. Hey, 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 hey! What do you think you're doing? Now I have to murder you. You must die. Swallow fury. Yeah, keep getting them, guys. Keep getting them. Murder them. Murder them in cold blood. I'm liking the swallow fury. I am liking it. It's nice to have a wind attack on guys. We defeated it before there were casualties. Good job. Yeah, we did it. That was a lot of EXP and gold. Not bad. And a good amount of elemental ore. Stronger. Demon Fang is level two now. Awesome. <laughs> you gotten strong. Now I have the strength to protect. Dang, we just got a ton of crap. I can't thank you enough. They came out of nowhere. I almost bought the farm, and without a single heart herb to show for it. Talk about tragic. You were looking for heart herbs? You're in the wrong place for that. You're better off searching closer to the Mon Highlands. You're kidding. I must have taken the wrong path from Sean Du. No wonder everything looked so unfamiliar. Wait, don't I know you? You're Dr. Jude Mathis, aren't you? Uh, yeah, that's me. My twitchy finger accidentally hit X too soon. That's why it sounds like she got cut off. I'm sorry. Good thing there are subtitles. So, I mean, her sentence was basically over anyways. I apologize. I knew it! My husband is taking part in one of the clinical trials of your new Spyrite device. Oh, I had no idea. Please tell him I'm thankful for his help. Never mind that. Why did you cancel the trials? Oh, that. The device was really helping him, too. We couldn't believe it when they insisted he stop using it. My husband is strong. He'll get by without it. But we're certainly not happy about the situation. Once you get used to doing something the easy way, it's hard to go back, you know? Ah, so the heart herbs are for your husband. If you're really grateful for our participation, then why not just let us use the device again? Nothing would make me happier, but unfortunately we discovered a defect in the device. A defect? When will it be fixed? Well... Don't tell me I'll need to keep gathering herbs for the rest of my life! Please calm down. I can see you for- No, please calm down. What? How dare you? I am perfectly calm, young man. No need to get angry with him, ma'am. I take full responsibility for stopping the clinical trials. We're doing everything we can to improve the devices. We just need a little more time. Please, will you bear with us? Well, I suppose I can hold out for a little while longer. A lot of people are counting on you, Dr. Mathis. Don't let us down. Jude's got this. Jude's got this. Well, she was a delight. You were more polite than she deserved. Uh, normally, I'd probably do with the sarcastic one, L1, but I think R1 is the one that gives me points. R1. No, I didn't get any points, dang it. No, I wouldn't say that. Her husband signed up for my clinical trials, and now their life is more difficult because of it. And that's reason enough to grovel? She didn't need to be so mean about it. Right now, words are all I have to offer. Anyhow, we have a lead. I can't spend time moping. If I can just find Celsius again, I think I'll have a chance at the answer. 
I need to get back and review all the info just one more time. I can't give up now. And that's the end of Chapter 3. So I imagine we'll be running into Celsius in Chapter 4. That train schedule you gave me is really fascinating. The more I read it, the more I understand how deep and complex these railway systems are. Alright then. Let's grab this stuff real quick before we jump out of here. And also, uh, what did I want to... Oh yeah, just got like a second color for Jude's Zillia outfit. Let's check it out real quick. I doubt it will look better than this one does. That actually does look pretty good. I think I prefer the Zillia 1 outfit more. The, the, uh, Zillia outfit 1. That is a cool coloration, but I prefer this one. I'm actually gonna put Jude back to his default. I just like to switch around the outfits every now and then. Do you have, a? Uh, I don't have... No, you don't have Mila's original outfit on you. Guys, do I have yours yet? No, I've just got the color variation. Nah, I'll just leave it like that. Alright. Oh, uh, anyways, hey guys, you wanna go fight the super powerful, uh... Whatchamacallit, it the super powerful elite beast? Yeah, totally. Let's not. And say that we did. Let's jump to this sea haven so we can go to the Fenmont sea haven. Do do do. Give me this elemental ore. Six more elemental ore. Every bit helps. Please spawn in so I can go to the next sea haven. Thank you. Fenmont sea haven, here I come. Ah, back where it all started, where the first game began. It has been a while. Fenmont, where spirit arts take shape. Alright, let's start unlocking these question marks. And there is Jude's old school. Let me jump into the Arkland Quag real quick, just so I have the ability to quick jump to it. Alright, good to have that. Let's see here. Where is... It's over towards the Orta Palace. Alright. We'll also jump into that other place, uh, that other, uh... I don't know what it's called. Over this way, there's another, um... Place that we don't have quick jump to yet. Yeah, the Barniar High Road, whatever it's called. Yep, okay, we got quick jump to there now, good. So now, uh, I don't need quick jump to the research center, I don't think. It'll be easy to get to it later if it says I need to go there for any reason. For now, let's just go to, uh, whoever's side quest it is. This is where Mila and Jude first met. Right over, where is it? Right over there. It's that one right there, I think, is the one that Mila busted into. Looks like they fixed it. So that is the law of the fractured and prime dimensions, then, had I only known. Mila's been acting strange. You wouldn't have to know anything about it, would you, Luger? Uh, she's afraid that we're gonna run into Prime Mila and she's going to cease existing. I went towards the Little 40 Research Center by mistake. My bad. Back we go. I took the wrong thing. This is the pathway that I want, right here. Ah, the Orta Bridge. So who is it? Muse? Oh, Muse! Yeah, cool. Hey, Goss, what you doing? Reduced to working for 15 gold an hour washing dishes? Absurd. I shall have to order Muse to stop eating so much from now on. Oh, uh, Gaius. Let's begin Muse's story. Chapter 1. It should be. Muse, Chapter 1. The Spirit Radio? This sounds interesting. Why, whatever would you want to talk to me about, Luger? Uh, I don't know. Did you travel with Jude and the others previously? I was just thinking about how cute you looked. <laughs> Uh, L1. I think you'd be happier not knowing about that. But do you still want to ask? I was deceiving Jude and his friends the whole time. I was planning to kill them, you see. <laughs> Maybe I'll kill L, too. You, you don't fool me! It's true. What? Muse did indeed try to kill us all. Well, well, I'm not scared. Muse, there is one thing I need to know. Whatever is that? How did you return to the human realm? I don't know. How did you? 
The power to cut through space-time. I lost the blade, but its power was mine to begin with. If it's just me alone, I can still transport myself between the spirit and human realms. Hey, Luger! Balin, what are you doing in Fenmont? Balin! Hello again, little lady. Still as little as ever, I see. Kids don't just grow up overnight. I thought scientists were supposed to be smart. Oh, not as smart as you, obviously. I'm just on my way back from the Laforte Research Center. One of the fellas there is researching communication between humans and spirits. You should go help him out if you get a chance. You're a spirit, right? Hmm? Me? If his research pans out, humans and spirits would be able to communicate from their respective realms. I bet our buddy Jude would be pretty happy about that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, mesmerized by my beauty, are you? Very well. I'll help out. Really? Oh, that's great news. You're kind of intimidating, so I was afraid to ask. But now I'm glad I did. Go talk to Nigel at the Laforte Research Center. He'll get everything set up. Good luck. Nigel Thornberry? Well then, let's go see this Nigel. Nigel Thorn Thornberry? He's leading the research of this? Oh? His research interests me. Then to the Laforte Research Center we go. Come along, everyone. I wish I could do the Nigel Thornberry Music noise, but I can't. This is the power to travel across space time. She may well be the only spirit capable of crossing between human and spirit realms at will. If only, if only Mila had that power. Everything would have worked out so much better for her and Jude. Let's go find Nigel Thornberry. Do do do. Where? All right, so, all right, I know where to go. This way, go, go, go. Do, 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 do. I wonder if he's uh, in the room where Agria killed a bunch of people, including, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Jude's uh, teacher, doctor, whatever he was. Which room? Left. The one with the save point in front of it, duh. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what's happening. Huh? Who are you? Pardon me. Where might I find Dr. Nigel? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share that information. Maybe I could persuade you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is Gaius not the king of all of Nia Kara? Can't he step forward and be like, Hey, I'm your king. Tell me what I want to know. And, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of researching spirits myself. Well, if you tell me what I want to know, I'll let you research me as long as you want. Huh? Hey, Luger! I can't see! You don't need to see what Muse is doing. <laughs> She's a bad influence. What's wrong? Not interested in a spirit's physical form? <laughs> Muse! Oh my goodness, Muse! L1. Which part of me would you like to research? <laughs> they had to black screen Muse. This is great. Let's start here. You humans are so naughty. <laughs> it seems Dr. Nigel has gone to Arklund Quag to perform some field work. Does Muse's behavior surprise you? <laughs> that silent period. I was afraid to talk because I knew as soon as I started talking, someone would say something. I just I can't quite figure her out. Has she always been like has she always been like that, Gaius? No. She's much easier to get along with now.
Oh my goodness, Muse. <laughs> oh, a quick jump to Arklin Qua. Glad I stepped in there a minute ago. I'm only missing one thing. Oh, it's uh, the it's the um Jude's school that I'm missing. Where is? I did step into Arklin Quag, right? I should have a quick jump to it. There it is. <laughs> uh, who do I have with me at will? Jude? No. Oh, I can't change it now. I was about to switch him to Elise. Oh well. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Where? Further in. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Muse. <laughs> oh, the characters in this game, man. The characters in this game. They are, pretty much all of them are amazing. Phenomenal characters. The majority of them. Gotta go even further into Arklin Quag. Great. I'm pretty sure there's only one more section of Arklin Quag and then we go into Fezabel Marsh, so... Should be in this next section. Unless there's a fourth section that I can't remember from the last game. Was Arklin Quag one of the ones you had to go through in the first game or one of the ones you didn't? Because I know there was an area or two in the first game you didn't actually have to go through to complete the story. Ah, right, good. No, you did have to go through Arklin Quag. Pretty sure. When uh, Ajul launched their attack, you needed to. Who could that be? Gee, I, I wonder if that's Nigel. What is... What? Okay. 